Hello there everyone, this is Ferris Knight, and this is my playthrough of Mega Man X. Um, this playthrough was supposed to come out a long time ago, but due to computer issues via Thunderstorm, it never came out. And so, here it is now. Now, this run is going to be a Bond run, as popularized term rather, and by popularized I mean I completely stole it, well faced out, from MTG Xerxes, which Bond stands for a buster only, no death run. I would have made it no damage, but um, yeah, I'm not good enough at this game to do no damage. That has partly to do with the game just sometimes being a flat out dick, but still. Um, just gonna be Buster only, no deaths, and I figured I'd add in a special thing. I'm only gonna go through the game with two power-ups, one of which I won't get to the last stage anyway. Um, oh god. The boost, which is pretty much impossible to get through till Penguin stage without getting, and the Buster upgrade that you get from zero in Sigma's Fortress. So, with those two weapons in hand, uh, the, that'll be the only things I'm getting. Meaning no heart tanks, no sub tanks, um, and no abusing Chameleon Stain. Or the rolling shield. The rolling shield's good. But anyway, no other weapons besides my buster to use, and... No, you're not hitting me. So far, I've been able to do this level without taking damage. I'd like to keep it that way. Yay! Anyway. But that's pretty much the shtick of this run. With that in mind, we're coming up to my favorite and least favorite section of the game. Or, rather, not the game, the level. And that would be the fact where it starts raining cars. This would be awesome if they were for the fact that they would kill you. Because they look like such nice cars, but you have to blow them up. See? It's kind of pointless to get the uh, weapon refills. Not just at this point in the game, but for me, periods and stuff. I think they're not using anything else. <gasps> Vile. The reason that Dr. Wilde's name was changed in the du er, localization. Yeah. This is the, another reason why I be don't believe you can actually get a no damage run of this game done. Simply because, ow. You're supposed to lose this fight. And, um, it's kind of hard to lose a fight that, you know, you didn't take any damage in. Plus, you know, he's kind of a dick. At a certain point, he starts firing these little energy balls that stun you. And fights over. Well, I did, but your health bar never showed up. No, X, it's just because I suck as a gamer that you couldn't beat him. Bussy cheating. Insert obvious Iron Man pun here. Captain Obvious, he'll be here all week.
I would make fun of that, but it's kind of the truth. Zero kicks her ass in pretty much every regard. My question is this. We have to go through this entire game, basically, meaning killing the other eight Maverick people. And yet, you know, Zero can just waltz right up to the fortress. I really do like this screen. It's nice. Anyway, the eight Mavericks. We have Chill Penguin in the well, let's see, in the mountains. We have Flame Mammoth, or whatever his name is, in the fire plant. Boomer Kwanger. No idea what the fuck a Kwanger is, but he's in like a lighthouse. Uh, Sting Chameleon in the forest. Spark Mandro in the power plant. I guess that's. Um, I don't remember his name, nor do I really care. He's kind of dull. This guy, also don't remember his name, also kind of dull. And of course, Launch Octopus, everybody's favorite Maverick. I'll be going in that order, starting with Chill Penguin because I can get his up the upgrade he gives me, and you know, just kind of chill chill through the rest of the game with just that. And then ending with Launch Octopus because, well, that should be entertaining for everyone. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the order. And I'll see you all in part two. Later.